Hi friends, I am again back with a very very interesting topic from my book The Power of Soul Talk and today I am going to talk about destiny and the karma. Well, let me share a very interesting story of a girl. Now this girl I was always thinking and wondering about her destiny that what is her destiny whether it is good bad and what is going to happen and she was very curious to know about her destiny so she was meeting many different people different astrologers to find out that what exactly is her destiny but she was not satisfied then one day she came to know that a world renowned fortune teller is coming to their town she decided to meet that fortune teller so when she went there and meet that fortune teller she told her desire that she wanted to understand that what exactly is in store for her destiny and she wants like a real answer the fortune teller said that okay don't worry my success rate is 100% and i'm going to tell you what exactly is the truth so he told that what i'm going to do is that i'm going to draw two circles on the floor and i'm going to put one black circle and one white circle and then you know i have got a magic box and in that i have got a very special creature so that will decide what is your destiny good or bad so the process started the astrologer drew two circles black circle and the white circle and then from the box there was a turtle inside so the point was that turtle will move and wherever the turtle will go that will decide that whether the destiny is good or bad Well, in the beginning, when the turtle started moving, it was moving towards the white circle, and the girl was feeling very good and very happy. But all of a sudden, the turtle stopped and started moving towards the black circle. So, as the turtle was about to touch the black circle, the girl could not hold herself, and she immediately rushed and then picked that turtle from there and put it on the white circle. The astrologer was very angry. That what you what you have done? You should not. disturb the process this is not right you are changing the prediction but the girl said no how can i allow it to happen it is my destiny how can i allow my destiny to go on the wrong side and just while she was talking or saying this thing to that astrologer she realized that yes the destiny is in my hand it is me who is going to create the destiny and no one else well gautam buddha has very rightly said that no one saves us but ourselves no one can and no one may we ourselves must walk the path that we need to do well the destiny or the fate word has come from a latin word called fatum and we are always very curious to know about it so as per the different spiritual leaders there are five different ways in which our destiny is made the first one is our surroundings so when we talk about surrounding it is the people around which we work around where we are born where we are brought up and maybe where we are studying and we are working so all the impressions that we get in our surrounding that make us the person that we are and as per the study it is generally said that whatever we are is actually what we have learned up to the age of 5 well someone has rightly said that it is not in the stars to hold our destiny but in ourselves then the second one is our this birth karmas whatever we are doing creates our destiny we may be doing something good we may be doing something bad if we do something good it creates good karma if we do something bad it creates bad karma and whatever is the output that we see around us that is a very very important factor that is the result of that it is as simple as if we are doing regular physical activity then we are keeping ourselves healthy for the future in our old age and if we are regularly having a lot of cigarettes we know what exactly our future is there with respect to our health then brings point number 3 that point number 3 is about genetics that whatever we are at this moment is because of the genes that we are getting from our parents 
and at times it is not only the parents but our aunts and uncles that is also coming as a part of our genes now we don't have much control over that but then we need to accept that and we have to work accordingly you must have seen many people who have got their gray hairs very early in their life why it is happening it is only because of the genetic effect that they are getting it from their parents for which they don't have much control over that then comes the fourth one that is a past birth now many of us don't believe in past birth but if you believe in destiny then you have to believe in past birth also so when you talk about the past birth it talks about that whatever impressions that we have captured in our previous birth which can be many many and during those whatever is coming in this particular birth we behave accordingly you must have seen many times that there are certain things maybe certain people who may not be very intelligent may not be very good looking may not be doing something great but still the success is coming very fast to them and you always feel that why it is happening and at times you will find someone who is very intelligent very sharp working very hard very honest but you will find that success is not coming and that person is facing a lot of failures so it's all because of the past karmas that we are getting for example you can take the example of twins they may be born on the same time you know the same stars and everything but still they are very different personalities all because of their past karmas and then the fifth and the most important this is the original impressions these are the impressions that we are carrying when the actually we started our journey our soul actually started the journey these are the original sanskars or the karmas that we are having that we started our journey with so if you look into the, all this five different ways in which our destiny is made out of these three the original karmas the genetics and something which happened in the past birth is not in our control we can't do anything about that so the only two remaining things are there our surrounding and what we do in this particular karma and again if we talk about our surrounding we don't have any control at, at least when we are little bit younger we may be born in a very good family or maybe in a footpath and whatever surroundings are there we get a lot many things from there so the only thing which is in our control is our past ka is our existing karmas that we do so we cannot change our past karma but in this particular karma we can do many things steve job is a very rightly said when he says that you can't connect the dots looking forward you can only connect them looking backwards so you have to trust that the dots will somehow connect in your future you have to trust in something maybe your guts destiny life karma whatever this approach has never let me down and it has made all the difference in my life so my dear friends you may be born with very good genes or very bad genes you don't have any control the only control is what you can do in this karma in your life and you can create your own destiny i am creating my own destiny by doing my karmas what about you what do you think about it thank you